Hello viewers, welcome to this channel, Taxonomy Online Mathematics. If this is your first time of coming across this video, subscribe to the channel, click on notification bell to receive notification. Share and leave a comment after watching this. So we are still continuing with our tutorial on some of the first n terms of what? any arithmetic progression. So this question, we are asked to find the sum of all the EV numbers that are from 2 to what? 100. So in actual sense, since we know it is EV number, we can generate our sequence to be 2, 4, 6, 8, up to what? 100. So this is our sequence. So to find the sum of all the elements, we can continue adding all of them, which will take us a lot of time, or we use a formula. How do we find the sum? We know sum is equals to n over 2 a plus l. I am using a plus l because in this sequence, I know the last term as 100. You could also use 2a plus n minus 1 plus multiplying d. But I am seeing last term, so I will go straight to this. So this will be put here, first term will put here, then n is what I need to find. How many terms are here? Are they up to 100? Can we say it's 50 because we are saying 2 for 6, 8, 10? We don't know. We have to find out. So, how do we find out that? We know the nth term, to find the number of terms in a sequence, is given by a plus n minus 1 d. Which we know this is the same as what? The last term. The last term is the same as the nth term of a sequence. So, if that's the case, I know from this, my a is going to be 2. My common difference is going to be 4 minus 2 will be 2. Then our last term will be 100. We don't know the n term, so let's see. This is going to be 100 equals to a 2. n minus 1 d, which is also what? 2. So, per our... Um, calculation we're having 100 equals to 2 plus 2n minus 2 I believe per this we are going to have uh, 0 we got 2 minus 2 be 0 so 100 equals to 2n I believe we have the n so 100 over 2 2n over what? 2 so n will be definitely what? 50. It means there are 50 different terms present here. So now we can substitute since we know the n here, the first term and the last term. So in this case, the sum of the first word, 50 terms equals to 50 as n over 2 times a, which is 2 plus last term which is what? 100. Right? So this is going to be 25 times. If you multiply this, you are going to get what? Uh, 102. But if I like, I can still maintain this to be 2 plus what? 100. If I multiply 2 by 25, I get 50. 25 times this will be 2,500. So now I can add this to, to have 2,550, meaning if we were to add this, you get 102 times 25. When you multiply, you still get the same thing. So it means that the sum of all even numbers from 2 to 100 or between 1 and 101 is going to be 2,550, the sum of all of them. If you add all those numbers, all right, I believe that aspect is correct. So in all, dealing with the sum of the numbers or first n term, I believe this will have been the fourth episode explaining the concept of sum of the n term of a sequence, which I believe you could also uh, provide answer to any question in the same domain. If you follow this, don't forget to share, like, and